Silova set me up, didn't he? And he used my boss to do it. He's sharp, this one. No question. Tell me what you know. How about we trade? Our life for yours. Keep talking. Clovis has gone to see Eldon. But he might not make it. Still, the work will go on, with or without Clovis. Get us Terrell's files, the rest of the DNA data, and we'll help you. You want me to break into the Tyrell building for you? You're nuts. Defective, yes. Nuts, no. You need us, McCoy. We can serve up Guza's carcass on a big, oversized platter. Hmm. Nothing. Hmm. <clears throat> that sucks. What kind of deal did you have going with Runciter? Don't talk to me about it. That was Lance's stupid deal. We just wanted to make some extra cash on the side. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. I'm sure he wasn't too pleased. Since Eldon's such a pain in the ass control freak. Did you meet Clovis through Runciter? It was all just a coincidence. I think I got what you wanted from Tyrell's office. Check it out, bro. The little man with the big gun did good. A bargain's a bargain. You said you'd give me Guza. It's all right here. Your boss is a real piece of work, let me tell you. Almost as good as Tyrell. Take a look. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. Guza had his fingers in as many rancid pies as possible. He was insatiable. He sold police equipment, ripped off criminals, and he even killed. And here were documents that proved it all. Depositions, photographs, video discs. It was the complete file on Guza, the dirty cop. Where'd you get this? From Clovis. He told us to hold it for him. Come to think of it, I'm not sure you're supposed to see it. You want to give it back now? Not a chance. Let him have it. Clovis said he was finished with the policeman anyway. Hmm. <clears throat> that sucks. Hmm. <clears throat> Nothing. The reps that killed Marcus and Miraji, they'll be looking for you. You're a little late, Detective. They've already found us. So why are you still walking around? Because we're all part of the same suit of cards, you know what I mean? Eldon makes mistakes just like any other... human. The difference is... The difference is your bastard doesn't like to admit it. No, he, he covers them up, pretends they're human, gives them a job at a stinking corporation, and then when they actually produce original work... You're saying... you're replicants? We finally figured it out. Clovis helped us see the light. But that's ridiculous. Tyrell wouldn't design something like you. He wants perfection. I told you we were a mistake. Keep talking. Sometimes our memories are different from each other's. The implant process isn't perfect. We know, we've seen the studies. You can't always be sure exactly how the memories will play out in the subject's mind. We've got different recollections of our childhood. Explain that. Maybe one of you just forgot. If you can't trust your own memories, what's left that makes you human? Tyrell says the four-year lifespan can't be extended. Of course he's gonna say that, but he's wrong. Very wrong. We got the research right here that'll prove it. Is it... complete? Could you extend the life of a replicant right now? Well, no. The four-year limit is an integral part of every element of the replicant. Terrell's dictate was that every body part would fail, and only the designers of each would know exactly how it worked. Clovis has already unlocked the secret of the skin. That was Miraji. Sebastian and Chu, they'd know about the central nervous system and the eyes. A lot of retrograde viruses were built into the eyes. And Tyrell, he's got the basic DNA pattern information, but he won't just give it up. Did you tell Clovis all this? He didn't ask. He already knew. He knows all about you, too.